Hello there, my friend. I am so pleased that you are here. If you were not aware, my name is Jonathan Doyle, and I'm really stoked that you made it to today's message. Before we unearth the metaphorical gold and wisdom of incredible people that I want to share with you in just a second, please make sure you're subscribed. If you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It changes the world. It creates world harmony. It fixes the ozone layer. Baby seals have much longer life expectancy, all because you hit the subscribe button. You feel good about yourself? You should. As well as that, I would love you to go and check out the links under here. You can book me to speak. You can get a free copy of my book. Whole bunch of good stuff there, so go and check out those links. I would love you to book me to speak. I'm back on the circuit, really looking forward to some upcoming events, so go check out those links. All right, my friend, are you ready for another roller coaster ride of inspiration and motivation, or, or at least something useful for the day? Well, let's do it. Today, I'm going to share with you a very simple quote from the American actress and theater practitioner, Uta Hagen. Really interesting lady, made some tough choices in her career to back herself and to be authentic about who she was and what she cared about. And in, in some ways, it really cost her a bigger career that she could have had. She's a great example of somebody who really believed in what she was doing and wanted to stay authentic and just keep walking her path. So let's hear from her. We must overcome the notion that we must be regular. It robs you of the chance to be extraordinary and leads you to the mediocre. This is really good. I love how she said we must overcome the notion that we need to be regular. There is a lot of complexity here because as a species, we highly value belonging and acceptance to a group. That's how we survived as we developed over, you know, thousands and thousands of years. But we also value individuality and the eccentric, unique characters of the world also grab our attention. So what do we do? Do we fit in? Do we stand out? I mean, what's, what's, what's the options here? I don't know about you, friend, but if you look back to primary school, elementary school, high school, there was not a lot of benefit in standing out for most people, right? The desire to fit in and belong meant that if you were different, if you were eccentric or unusual or you've thought certain things or supported the wrong team, it could be pretty difficult. So I think this is a complex issue. What should we do? Do we go along with the crowd? Do we stand out? Here's where I'm coming down on the issue today. Look, my take on this is that there are 7 billion people, give or take, on the planet, and there is but one of you. As Marianne Williams said in that famous quote that gets hijacked and is, you know, gets attributed to just about everybody, you're born to make manifest the glory of God that is within you. You are not meant to manifest the glory of God that's within me, and I'm not meant to manifest the glory of God that's in you. I'm a parent. And one of the coolest things about being a parent is seeing your child grow into, develop, and use their unique gifts. I've got three kids. They're radically different. One, you know, my son's into music. My daughter's more of an academic. It's, it's a whole mix of things. But as a parent, you get so much joy out of seeing your kids discover and actualize their unique gifts. And I think that's exactly how God looks just at all of us. So I just want to say to you today, are you shrinking? I don't mean are you getting shorter. I mean, are you shrinking and hiding and holding within some of what you really want to bring into the world? Some of those unique, quirky gifts and talents and interests that you really do have. Do you find yourself self-censoring a lot of the time and not so take the risk? Take the risk to say the things that you truly believe politely, respectfully. I'm not talking about pride or arrogance here. I'm just saying that Uta Hagen's reminding us that there's no prize for being like everybody else. You don't win the game of life by looking like everybody around you. You win the game of life by making your unique contribution, by being who you are, and bringing those unique gifts to the world. All right, that's all I want to say. It's a beautiful quote. It's a simple reminder to heal from the wounds of the past, to heal from all of those people that tried to push you into the metaphorical cubicle of life. Because we still need that stuff that's in you, that unique stuff that's within you. All right, so as you go through your day, start to pay attention. Are you self-censoring? Are you not saying what you really think? Are you not putting some tiny bit of time into developing your unique gifts and talents. So I come in the studio every day. I want to do these videos because these are some of the gifts that I've been given and I want to share them with people. So I keep trying to work on it every single day because I don't want to be like everybody else. I want to bring my unique voice into the world. It's no better or different to other people's voice, but it's just what I'm passionate about. And you can hear it in me, right? I want to share it with people and you're no different. So whatever your gifts are, we are waiting. We are waiting for them. Go bigger. Develop them more. We are waiting for your contribution. All right, that's it. Now, 
Hit that subscribe button for me. Go check out those show notes. I'd love if you could share this video. My name's Jonathan Doyle. Go and stop being regular. Go and be different. Be a little crazy. Be a little bit eccentric. And you and I are going to talk again tomorrow.